Yo, what's up everybody? October 11th, 12th somewhere, on that order here in beautiful Minnesota. Fall fishing is here. The bite is starting to crank up. Um, went walleye fishing yesterday, caught a few. A lot, of, a lot of lookers still on a lot of the lakes, but water temp was 58, I believe. It's been warm lately, but as of tonight, temps are dropping. Fall feed bag is getting put on. And I am going to go try to chase down some crappies, maybe a bonus walleye, but some big crappies in a lake that uh, tough to get into. Access is really low, so we're going to be taking, instead of the big machine, we're taking Little Blue. It's not my boat. It's my girlfriend's son's boat. Gavin, I'm stealing your boat, bud. We're going to try to get some crappies in it today. But anyway, going to head into... Quality back bait and tackle here and talk with Wit himself. I know that this time of the year, uh, the bite is really turning on on pretty many, it's, it's a minnow bite in general. Uh, me, today I'm taking some rainbows and some tiny creek chubs, but mostly rainbows this time of year, that rainbows really shine. Uh, they're literally called walleye candy and you know, really good price for getting a scoop of them. And from what he's been telling me, the bite's turning on with those. I'm gonna be fish crappies in the day. A lot of walleyes caught them. I think it's going to use for work for both, but we're going to have a check in with Whitty over here. The uh, fish report been lately. Pretty good, starting to heat up. When the minnows start trapping, the fish start biting. Oh, yeah. Match the hatch. Yeah, how long have the rainbows been trapping for you now? About six days. Okay. Right when the, right when the cool weather came. What, uh, what have you been finding for water temps, maybe uh, depth on the fish, how they're biting, what they might be biting on? Water temps are buried between the lakes. Uh, we had one that hit 58 degrees, but most of them are hovering around that 60 to 63. Um, fish are still a little bit deep, I think, you know, like 18 to 22. Yeah, that's what I've been, that's actually what I've been finding too. The ones I found yesterday, they did find some in 14 feet, but they, you know, a lot of a lot of lookers and not as many biters. I think the bigger fish are up shallow. Sure, yeah. So I'm gonna get some rainbows. Let's go, let's see what the rainbows look like quick. I do have a split shot and a sinker. I got some plastics. I bring a little bit of everything, but this is what rainbows look like, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Look at those babies. Let me grab one here. Actually, I have like a, they have a little orange stripe down their side, kind of, that makes them look that. Oh gosh. So we're gonna be putting those on a split shot and a sinker, maybe a jig, maybe a bobber, all the above. I don't know, but I know I've been putting on many videos lately. Mike's been yelling at me for that, right? <laughs> I do have a trapping video I got to put up. I do have, actually, I do have a few videos that I need to put up. Just uh, been slacking really bad lately, as you guys know. I apologize for that. Hopefully so the next sound they hear is fish on. Yeah, the next sound you hear is going to be zip zip. That'll be me setting the hook on a big old crappie. Um, said the water temps are a little are a little bit warm yet, but you know what? It's windy out. And I want to get a fishing, so we'll see you guys on the water. What's going on, everybody? So, out on this lake here, um, haven't been out here for about a year. I don't know if I shot a video out here last year or not, but just this little bay off this shallower lake, and there's some structure back here behind us that has a bunch of crappies on it. And I'm literally just going to pitch a jig with a uh rainbow on it or just a plain jig or split shot and a minnow with a rainbow on it and i think that's probably what i'm gonna go with because that always seems to work best so yeah start pitching all right you guys got this motor is kind of in our way but whatever just got a plain split shot here a size six Nickel plated Gamagatsu and one of these rainbows. Nice and lively it is. We're just gonna cast back here on this structure. Hey, we got one. Feels like a decent fish too. Oh, that's a nice crappie. There we go. Here we go. Ooh, nice fat one. This is actually off of a tiny creek chub there, but 
That's a solid. I mean, that's got to be a close to an 11 inch crappie right there. Just a plate too. Just cast that split shot sinker over the top of that structure, you guys. Letting them go. Oh, there's one. There we go. Here we got a bite on the old rainbow. Jeez, that feels like a good fish. Oh yeah, look at that. Big crappie, you guys. Big crappie on this rainbow. Oh, look at that. Freaking toad, boys. Woo. Huh. Just ate that thing, too. Oh. Oh my gosh. Nice crappie. Letting them go. All right, you guys, I want you to see this. So, the anchor on the front of the boat came untied, okay? So we have no way to spot lock. I just spent the last two hours, I'd say, hour and a half, trying to snag the anchor rope. I put on a tungsten, a bullet weight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six extra hooks like this, just dragging the bottom back and forth. Look at that, see that crap? Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. Just to try and get the anchor rope, I feel so bad, but I did, I got it back. Now we're gonna try to get back to getting some crappies. Hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully it's not too late in the day. Sun's still up anyway. Got one. I think we got a crappie. Maybe a bass? Oh, it's a big crappie, you guys. Woo! Ugh. Ugh. Well, I guess I snagged him. I guess I snagged him on the face plate here. Huh. Well, I felt him bite. He must have swung at it and missed and got her stuck in the face plate. So, I don't know. I guess I can't call it an official catch, but got him to the top of the water anyway. Woo. Fall crappy on the rainbow. There we go. Got a bite on this plastic. Swimming it across the top of that structure. Oh, it's a beauty too. Holy, that's a big one. Jesus. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Oh, just come off. God, that was a big one. That was like a 14 incher. Crap. No net. <sighs> on the plastic anyway. Ooh, that's a big, that's a bluegill, you guys. A nice bluegill, look at that. Big old bluegill. Woo! Bonus bluegill, you guys. I'm sinking crappies. Got us a nice bonus blue. That'd be a good eater if I was bringing them home. Shoot, oh God. No, 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 no. There we go. What is that? Oh, it's a growth, right? Yeah, it's a growth, not a leech. Here's a leech. Yeah, it must be a growth. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Oh, okay. Oh, there's one. Gosh, I felt a little freaking jig. There's a nice crappie. Woo. There's a bigger one. Come on, buddy, get up here. Don't come off. Yeah. Woo. Just kind of floating back and forth over this piece of structure here. Everything has gone wrong for me today, you guys. I'm not, like, you guys don't even know. Oh. Probably a, I don't know how big that guy is. Probably 12 and a half or so. These fish are really beautiful. When you can get them to bite. There we go. It's a little tungsten jig. Tip of one of those, uh, Rainbow minnows, no giants today yet. We did lose a big one, let this guy go. I am seeing a lot of fish out in the basin out here, but this lake is too shallow. I cannot get the big boat in this access or else I would. We'd be spot locked chasing these crappies down. Um, 
but instead we actually have an anchor thrown out that I had to catch after an hour and 45 minutes of trying just to get back to where we're at now, just to catch these crappies, you guys. But I'm not giving up. We're gonna keep on fishing here for a bit. Yo, what's up everybody? So, this video is gonna be kind of a disaster, but I'm gonna put it up anyway. Caught a few crappies, caught some nice ones, lost a really nice one right behind the boat here. I think a majority of them honestly came on the uh, rainbow in a jig or a plain hook. Everything went wrong today that could possibly go wrong. Um, like I said, took this new little boat out, along to Gavin. Ran really good, things super fast. You know, I'm used to taking a big fiberglass or a 20 foot tiller out. Reminds me, do not take small boats out on big water or high winds like today. Like, dangerous for sure. That was step number one was wrong. Lost the anchor rope. Had to troll for that for an hour and 45 minutes. Um, let's see here, what else went wrong? Oh yeah, lost all my jigs because I, I snagged the anchor rope one time and and just, just bad. Um, then my, so then I ran out of jigs that I wanted to use. Now my GoPro, about a half hour ago, locked up and just will not work. So I'm gonna be thankful for the fish that I caught you guys. Uh, hope you enjoy a little bit of fall fishing. I'm gonna be working on some more stuff here. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.